Hey, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gemma Wellness. Today's tip comes to you from Luann, who is a Danny K member. And um, she actually messaged me yesterday and I told her, you know what, that's a great um, message. And there is some issues with my wall back there because um, I'm gonna just move it because I don't like the way it looks, right? So I'm gonna come in Let's see if I can go in through here. This might be a little bit better. Um, this might be too high up. Yeah, that's gonna be too high up. Okay, so I'm gonna do something different. This might be too low. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so basically, and it's gonna be a little dark. Yeah, I'm just trying. We, we're going through some construction because yes, Danny K is adding classes. So I'm just trying to find my uh, area that I'm going to be doing. Well, I will have my area, but right now my area that I used to do is kind of down right now. So back to Luann asking, come here, sweetie. Um, Luann asking about gaining muscle, losing body fat, but maintaining her weight. Now she doesn't mind if she's going to gain a little bit of pounds, as long as it's, you know, a couple of pounds, as long as it's healthy pounds. And we all know healthy pounds is good, fat pounds, muscle pounds is good, fat pounds is not, right? So basically, um, my, my thing is what you want to do is, is, you know, find where we're, you know, like an even kilter with the calories. So like with her, you know, I told her about 1400 calories because of, you know, like the activities that she does. And, you know, of course, uh, that's that's a generalization and a, just a number for right now for you, the viewer. But for her, that was an actual number that I actually gave her because as a nutritionist and knowing like we talked about what she actually does work out, you know, regular daily activity, that kind of thing. So. So basically I said about 1400 calories and I said a gram of protein per pound. So I'm not going to tell you what she weighs. So whatever she weighs, um, it, you know, is, so let's just say it's 120. Okay. So 120 pounds, you eat 120 grams of protein a day. Okay. So, um, Wait a minute. Oh, no, Angie, I'm not sitting on the bathroom floor. I'm in the tan. I'm in the new tanning bedroom. <laughs> I just don't have my, my, my stuff all set up yet. So, um, so, um, so basically, so one gram of, pre of protein per pound. So that's what I'm having her do. So basically what you want to do is feed the muscle. You want to starve the fat that, you know, like that cold thing, you know, feed the, what is it? Feed the, feed the, cold, starve the fever, that kind of thing. So you want to feed the muscle. You want to starve, burn the body, the, the body fat. So with Luann, and again, I honestly can't remember what she did say she weighs. So I'm just going to say just 120 because that's about what I weigh. So let's just say 120 pounds. Um, so I'm going to eat 120 grams of protein. And, you know, I'm going to do my regular workouts and stuff like that. I'm going to have, for me, I actually, anywhere between 14 and 1500 calories. So we want to regulate the calories, right? We want to get enough protein in there so that we are increasing our, um, or, uh, you know, feeding the muscle as much as we can to increase that muscle so that we can burn the fat, right? Another and very important thing that a lot of women don't like to do, sorry, my foot is actually killing me, um, that women don't like to do is lift heavy. So, you know, with, with, um, you know, Luann or with like with me, you know, I don't mind lifting heavy. I'm going to lift as heavy as I possibly can. If you can increase, the only way you're going to increase lean tissue is one, lift weights. But the only way you're going to see actual results is if you actually push these muscles to the extreme. So you want to feed your muscle right. You want to feed your body right. You want to do the right amount of exercise. You don't want to overdo your exercise if you're trying to maintain. So this is like a different kind of tip, you know, because some people, most people that I actually deal with, you know, in the gym industry and in training and nutrition, most people want to lose weight, right? But some people, they want to gain weight like a lot of men. They were, you know, teenage boys or, you know, just, you know, young guys. They want to gain weight. 
So you have to do it healthily, you know, and you have to do it per, you know, the protein grams, per what you're doing. You want to watch how much cardio you're doing if you're trying to increase your weight. So, you know, back to, you know, just maintaining, and this is for guys or for girls, men, women, um, you know, you want to eat at least one gram of protein per pound. So if you weigh 120 pounds, 120 grams of protein. If you're a guy and you want to maintain you know your uh, your weight at 200 pounds, let's just say, but you want to get rid of some of the some of the belly, some of the fat, but you're not, you know, um, but you're decent. You know how like some guys they have like a a, a beer belly, but their chest is kind of kind of um, you know muscular looking. Their arms are you know their quads. So really like the only area that they're carrying the weight would be you know in the belly area. So basically, um, you want to you know eat that the protein per pound, okay, gram per pound. And, um, you know, and of course, we have to figure out the calories. The calories have to be correct as well. Now, what I told Luann the other day was it's kind of like a blueprint. So you have a blueprint of, you know, like your construction site. <laughs> I guess that's why I came up with that analogy. Um, so um, you, you, you have your blueprint, but sometimes things have to tweak and change, right? So that's kind of like the same thing, like when I do a meal plan with you, you're trying to maintain weight, even lose or gain. We're, we're coming up with a blueprint, and then sometimes, you know, we have to just tweak it. We have to give you a little bit more calories, have to take a little bit more calories away. Um, so all of that kind of thing plays in, but it's proper nutrition, proper calories and protein and of course you have to lift if you're trying to increase you know lean tissue you have to lift heavy and women you are you only have one tenth the testosterone that men have okay so you're not going to bulk and get bulky a lot of times people say i'm bulky and huge and jacked and all this stuff i'm not actually i mean i'm only five foot i weigh 120 ish 117 pounds, you know, but my, my arm is only 12 and a half inches. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm not jacked, but the appearance is because the appearance of that is because I have, you know, less body fat. So when you're trying to, you know, maintain as Luann, and I'm sure there's other people out there, like for me, I'm maintaining. So I get in 120 grams of protein a day. I do my 14 to 1500 calories a day. So I'm a little shy on my calories. But, you know, I'll jack it up on Saturdays, and that's kind of my justification for, for all of that. But I found that that works for me. So, again, we're back to that blueprint of what works for you. So I make this blueprint for you when I sit down and do a meal plan for you, and I make this blueprint, and then I go about, you know, making sure that you stay with this for like two or three weeks making sure that it works. If it does not work, then that's where we're tweaking it. If you're losing weight, we got to give you more calories. If you're gaining weight, we got to lessen it. So all of that plays in. So you just, we have to, again, create the blueprint and then go from there. So, I mean, that was a good question, Luann, because a lot of people do want to gain or uh, gain weight or maintain, um, but they don't know how to do it. So it's all about obviously the nutrition. But if you're trying to increase new, um, lean tissue, increase your muscle, you you have to lift. Like you can't just lift those five pounders, you know. And don't be afraid to lift weights. You know, it's 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 okay. It muscle is muscle is good, right? So, you know, and then when you, when you start getting the, the, the forms and the definitions and stuff, and if you want to kind of stop at that point, you like the way it looks, you don't want it to get any more, then you, you just adjust your weights and your, and your um, reps accordingly, right? So it's all about that blueprint thing again, just finding what works for you and going with it. And then when you need to change it, up it, lower it, whatever, to you know, readjust things so that you don't get too much or too less, you know, like when you're less of body fat or whatever. I think mine's like around 10 or 11. Some women don't want to be that low. Some women can't get that low just because of just life and what they do for a living and what I do for a living. I'm here so I can actually do it. I have a little bit more control over that. So, you know, it's, it is all about the nutrition. 
and lifting. Women, please do not be afraid to lift weights. You are not going to bulk and get huge. You're not overeating. You're not, you're not eating calories to gain weight. So, you know, you're eating calories to maintain, at least if you do a meal plan with me and you tell me that that's what your goals are, that's what I'm going to, that's how I'm going to feed you. Okay. So, you know, it's all about how you lift, but more importantly, how much you eat. Like I, I lift heavy, 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 but I don't over, you know, like I'm not eating my calories to gain weight. So I'm not going to get any bigger. Right. And I have it like people that, you know, know me and know that I have not gotten any bigger for the past, you know, 10 years or whatever. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. And if anybody out there as Luann wants to do, you know, like a maintain kind of thing and they don't, you know, they want to lose some body fat and tighten up some things and they want to gain some, you know, lean tissue, but kind of maintain their weight, let me know. Give me a holler. I can hook you up with a meal plan, whether you're here in Westminster, Maryland or somewhere else. I can do it via the internet and I got you, right? So leave me some comments. I hope that helped, Luann. I hope you're still watching. I see you checked in, but I'm not sure if you're still watching. Oh, she gives me the thumbs up. All right. So um, I hope that helps everybody else. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you want to hear. Tell me how I can help you again more efficiently on your fitness journey. And um, I will do a video and do my best to help you out. So Danny K. Jimma Wellness on Facebook, DannyKJimmaWellness.com. And you're very welcome, Luann. Thank you. That was an awesome question. So stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated. Bye.